Refreshed Model S and X are here. Exterior changes are very minimal. Not much has changed except for maybe the lower front fascia that's slightly different. Interior change is huge. Gaming PC on board. Horizontal screen at 17 inches. Rear screen now that can also play video games. Every passenger in the car has a wireless charger. USB-C is here. There's lots of changes on board that I don't want to touch on in this video because that's not the focus of this video. What I found to be the most interesting is that when you go on these articles, when you go on Reddit and you see this refreshed Model S mentioned, the conversation has been taken over. And what's hijacked the conversation is this very polarizing steering wheel. It's a yoke style steering wheel and that has lots of people talking. So in this video, I wanna take a deep dive. I wanna talk about this steering wheel. I wanna say exactly what's different. And I wanna show you how this will work on the day-to-day -day basis of daily driving this vehicle. You can look at this steering wheel as sort of being inspired by Model 3 and Model Y. It sort of has that shape. Like when you look at the inner parts of the steering wheel, it gives me vibes of Model 3 and Model Y. It has those metal scroll wheel buttons on the left and the right. It just doesn't have the top portion of the steering wheel and the bottom portion is super elongated and very, very flat. So it's inspired by Model 3 and Model Y. So I wanna go over the functions of this steering wheel. As you can see, there are no stalks on the left and the right. What you would normally do with those stalks, like turning on your windshield wipers, turning on your signal, that has been replaced with force touch buttons on the steering wheel. The bottom portion here, I wanna start on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. The bottom left part is your left signal. Push that, your left signal comes on. Of course, at the moment, we don't know if this works with the three blinks or not, or if it's just always on. I just, I don't know. We'll have to really see how all this is going to work when everything comes out and people really get their hands on it. Over this, you have the right signal button. To the top part of that, top right of that, you have your lights. This is your lights function here. It's on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Now I'm gonna go to the right-hand side of the steering wheel. In the top left portion of this side, you have your horn. So it's pretty safe to say that the horn function of actually pushing in the center part probably doesn't do anything because you have a horn button here. If we go beyond that a little bit further, we're gonna skip one button here and we're gonna go straight to the middle portion of that, which is sort of the right part of where the scroll wheel is. This is your windshield wiper button. Between horn and windshield wiper, there's actually an autopilot button. So the last button here on the bottom right portion is actually a say command button, it's a microphone. I find that to be very interesting, the fact that there's actually a force touch dedicated microphone button instead of actually pushing in one of those metal wheels. So I'm curious to see what pushing in those wheels will actually do. Where's the Prindle? How do you get this car into gear? Where's my park, reverse, neutral, and drive? How do I get it into gear? Let's switch on over to Electric. Electric actually wrote an article last night about this with documents that they were able to obtain. These are internal documents at Tesla talking about this very thing. The vehicle uses its autopilot sensors to intelligently and automatically determine intended drive modes and select them. For example, if the front of the Model S or X is facing the garage wall, it will detect this and automatically shift to reverse once the driver presses the brake pedal. This eliminates one more step for the drivers of the world's most intelligent production cars. So it's done automatically. This is the next step for Tesla. Currently in its vehicles, when you put your foot on the brake pedal, the car actually turns on. There is no start or stop button. Now in this new S and X, when you put your foot on the brake pedal, the car will actually turn on and go into the correct gear. So you're thinking that this is now gonna be a safety hazard. What if you need to put the car into a certain gear? Electric says that there actually are force touch buttons at the base of the phone charger in the center console. I don't think from the angles that I've seen that this has been shown off, but there are force touch buttons at the base of the center console where the phone charger is so the driver can actually put the car into the correct gear that they want instead of the car doing it for them if it does it wrong or if they're in need of actually doing it because of some dire situation. So that's all I have for you in this video about the steering wheel on the new S and X. It's a yoke style steering wheel. Of course, I wanna know what you think in the comments section below. Let me know if you hate it, if you like it. I'm gonna reserve all judgment until I actually get inside of it and drive it, or if I see people's opinions on it and see demonstrations of how the wheel actually works in day-to-day -day driving. So 
I like the design aesthetically, though. I would definitely say that I think the interior looks fantastic all throughout of this. That's all I have for you in this video. I will see you in the next episode of Polarity. My name is Lenny J. Have a good day.